Hey guys, it's uh, 26 of October 2011 and um, i just come across these two articles and it's something I've been thinking about for a number of years and I presume a lot of you may have thought the same and that is, um, you know, who are the biggest landowners and who has the most gold and it's not because I want to be rich but what uh, I'm trying to point out is that uh, every day we're here of um, countries like South Africa and other countries around the world where millions of people are starving and dying every day and uh, you know for ourselves you know, every day is a struggle um, you know most of us are having to get two or three jobs to ensure that we have a roof over our heads that we can put food on the table and also put our kids through a good education. And um, what really annoys me is that we got this 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 world of ours, which is full of abundance of uh, resources, like in minerals and food and in land. And uh, you know, it's it's a real shame. There's there's enough um, out there for all of us to survive on. And so, um, really, at the end of the day, I believe that we're not living, but merely existing on a day-to-day -day basis. So, I'm going to show you these two articles and uh, be interested to get your views and what you think of these people. Um, what, think, what you think uh, should be done with the land and also what you think should be done with all this gold. So, we'll get straight into it. There are a couple of names on here that are a little bit... Uh, Hard to uh, to name, so uh, I may just uh, bypass them. But um, but anyway, we'll see how we go. So here we are in fifteenth place. Ted Turner, uh, acreage totaling over two million in the United States. He owns thousands of square miles of hunting grounds in Georgia and Montana. He also has roughly 11,000 acres of land in Patagonia region of Argentina. In 14th place, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa. Um, the king owns the country and all 4,415 miles of it. 13th place, James Arthur and John Irving. Approximately 3.6 million acres of land held in Maine. New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, making the Irvings the largest landowners in those states and provinces. In 12th place, King Maswa of Swaziland, 6,704 square miles. In 11th place, Emir of Kuwait owns 4.4 million of the roughly 7 million of acres that make up the nation of Kuwait. In 10th place, King Leste III, uh, 11,700 square miles of Lesotho, including the country's diamond mines. In 9th place, King Jigmi Kazar Namul, 15,000 agriculturally lush and unique square miles of his kingdom in Bhutan. In 8th place, King Abdullah II of Jordan, 35,637 square miles of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, one of the very few members of both the Arab League and the World Trade Organization. 7th place, King Ganendra of Naples, 57,000 miles, that makes up Naples. 6th place, Sultan Qubus of Oman, Mostly desert nation of Oman, which also includes a port along the coast of Sur, a major port of entry for trade in the region. In fifth place, in Thailand, approximately 128 million acres of Thailand 
including its tourist-friendly coastline and economically strong cities. Fourth place, King Mohammed of Morocco, 175.6 million acres of Morocco, a historically key point of trading between Europe and Africa, which has retained a rather healthy economy throughout the turbulent 20th and early 21st centuries. Third place, Pope Benedict, 110 acres of the Holy See, that constitutes the Vatican City. Also roughly 177 million more acreage of various lands owned by the Catholic Church throughout the globe, including the hundreds of Vatican embassies that are legally titled to the Holy See as an independent nation, which is rather interesting. In second place, King Abdullah of Saudi Arabia, um, absolute royal control over the oil rich, 830,000 square miles of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. A total GDP that was estimated at roughly $618 billion last year. And in first place, Queen Elizabeth. 6.6 .6 billion acres of land worldwide, including Great Britain, Northern Ireland, Canada, Australia, and a few other spots here and there. Also important, Auckland Islands. So we just cross over to the gold, and as we here, see here, 4% of the world controls 12.6% of the gold. So here we're looking at rank number 10, which is the Netherlands, 612.5 tonnes of gold, 61.4% share of the foreign reserve. In rank ninth, Japan, 765.2 tonnes. Rank eight, Switzerland, 1,040.1 tonnes. Rank seven, China, 1,054 tonnes, 1.8 share of the foreign reserves. Rank 6, SPDR, Gold Shares ETF, 1,120.6. Rank 5, France, 2,450.7 tonnes. Rank 4, Italy, 2,451.8 tonnes, 66.5% share of the foreign reserve. Rank 3rd, International Monetary Fund, 3,217.3 tonnes. Rank 2, Germany, 3,412.6 tonnes. And rank number 1, United States, 8,133.5 tonnes, 78.3% share of the foreign reserve. And these, this is current for 2011. And what is also interesting, there's no mention of, of uh, Port Knox. So there we have it. The world's biggest land and gold owners. And to me, it's rather disgusting. It's amazing what we could do with all this. So thanks again, guys. Thanks to everybody supporting uh, my channel or my RSI R channel. And it'll be interesting to hear your comments on this one. So until then, peace out. Catch you soon.